Neighbors getting serious about catching people watering when they shouldn't be. Complaints have been flooding into the Austin 311 system for the last two weeks since water customers have had to scale back on watering to just once a week. Our Aaron Cargyle is live downtown now in downtown Austin with more on this. Aaron, good morning. Hey, good morning, Chris. Part of the deal is that water fountains have to be off right now as well. So we were a bit confused when we showed up here to the UT campus yesterday to find part of this fountain was still running. And while it's not on full blast, water is running down the steps. Now, UT tells us this is because they have to turn it on every once in a while for maintenance or it will stop working. Now, between fountains and sprinkler systems turned on when they shouldn't be, citizens appear to be policing the situation very well. The first week of stage two water restrictions, 675 complaints came into 311. The second week, which was last week, 913 calls flooded in. That's more than 1,500 calls so far. The city is mailing what they call a courtesy letter to every customer in question. If you're turned in repeatedly, that's when city water patrols will show up to check it out for themselves. On top of that, city employees are also doing random patrols through neighborhoods, looking and listening for water wasters. Anytime a city investigator sees a violation, um, that's when someone will get uh, the first time. The first time they have a violation of the property, they'll get a, a warning. Um, and then the, the second time, if they're a repeat offender, they'll get a citation. And it is a Class C misdemeanor and a fine of $475. We are still waiting on ticket totals from the city. But for the most part, people are listening. The average daily water use has dropped drastically since Stage 2 went into effect. Live in downtown Austin this morning, Aaron Cargyle, KXAN News. All right, Aaron.